What is up, party people? And welcome back to the WooCommerce series. Today in this video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to create a variable product. Now, a variable product is actually one of the more complex products with WooCommerce. It actually allows you to add multiple variables to your products, such as size or color. So today in this video, I'll walk you guys through how to create a variable product with WooCommerce. You guys ready? Let's go. So let's get started. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys what a variable product actually is. So here's an example of a variable product. Essentially, a variable product is a product with multiple variables, such as size or color. So for example, we have this outdoor lamp right here, right? And if we scroll down, we have the option for size and also color. If I click on size, you'll see that we can select specific sizes, and then we can also select specific colors. So here we have a red one, we have a yellow one, and then also we have this orange one. So variable products are also very common. A good example of this would be something like a t-shirt, right? Or anything with multiple variables. So this is target.com, which is a popular e-commerce website in USA. And here they can select specific colors, right? And then also they can select specific sizes. So this is an example of a variable product. And I'll be showing you guys how to create one in this tutorial. You guys ready? Let's go. So let's go ahead and go over here to our dashboard. Now remember, to create a variable product, guys, you must have the WooCommerce plugin installed on your website. So make sure to install this plugin before you guys do this because you guys want to have the options unless you guys do, right? So over here, let's go ahead and click on All Products. And the top right here, I'll click on Add New. So let's do it. So this is going to be an outdoor lamp. For the product description, I'll just throw in some demo content. Okay, next right here, you'll see product data. Let's go ahead now and select variable products. Let's go ahead and close these little annoying notices. All right, next shipping, we've already talked about that. Here we have linked products. So now we can actually add a upsell. So an upsell is a product that you can recommend when someone's actually viewing the product. So I'll go ahead and put in the basketball net, okay. Also, you guys can always hover over this in case you guys are not, you know, 100% familiar. So, so we're basically just going to be recommending products when people are currently viewing this specific product. Okay. Next, we have attributes. So this is where we're going to add in the attributes, right? So the first one is going to be size. All right. Next, we're going to type in small. Now, you need to enter a symbol. So on your keyboard, above the enter sign, you're going to see a bracket sign. I'll go ahead and put it up here on the screen. You need to hold shift and press that bracket sign. And it'll look just like that. Once you do that, now you're gonna enter in the next value. So I'll put in medium, all right? And the last one will be large, okay? I'll go ahead now and close this. Now I wanna add in another one. Add new, okay? This is gonna be color. We're gonna put yellow, red, and yellow, I'm sorry, orange. Silly me, silly me. Okay, so now I wanna make sure under both of these that these boxes are both checked. I want use for all variations. And now I'll click on save attributes. Okay, once we actually save those, when I'll go to variations, then I'll click on generate variations. I'll click on okay. And now WooCommerce is gonna create variations for all of these different attributes. So now we have small yellow, small red, small orange. It looks like I spelled orange wrong. Whoops. Let's see if I can actually change that. Orange, there we go. Okay, so now we have all these different variations. Now we need to actually go ahead and add in a price and an image for all of these. This can be a little time consuming, but I'll walk you guys through how to do it. Over here, I'll click on edits. And for small yellow, I first wanna add in an image of the yellow lamp, right? And this is gonna be $100, right? You guys can also put in more information about this right here, such as the weight and everything. So you guys might wanna do that, right? Makes sense. But I'm not going to, I'm just going to close that and open in the second one. So small red. Here we go, 100 bucks. Now, I wanna be uh, transparent. If you guys forget the price on one of these variables, the entire product will not show, okay? So you must enter everything for all the variables, all right? Over here, small orange, right, $100. So if you guys do create a variable product and people cannot add it to the cart, I just wanna remind you guys, a very common mistake is that you forgot to enter the price somewhere, right? On one of these variables, okay? 
Uh, what color was this? This was medium yellow. Okay, medium yellow. This is still gonna be $100, right? We are gonna add a different price for the large one, right? Because I think large products are gonna be a little bit more expensive, right? Over here, 100 bucks. And same thing over here, $100 for the orange one, okay? Now for the large one, we're going to add in this one here, right? Large yellow, but this is gonna be $150, okay? It's gonna be a little bit more expensive. Large red. $150. And then also we have large orange over here. And this is also going to be $150. All right, makes sense. All right. Now over here, we can add in some product short description. We can always use ChatGPT, you know, so let's go ahead and just make a quick prompt. So create me product description for an outdoor sports lamp. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we have a lot of text. I'll take the key features and we'll use this, right? So I'll copy this and I'll paste that right here. And you know what, up here, I'll actually use this other stuff, right? We have product description and we have all this really cool stuff. So I'll add this description and we'll have that right here. Okay, go ahead and paste that in. All right, how about that? Look at that, beautiful, look at that. So now I'll set a product image. So I'll just select red one as default product gallery images. We don't really need to select them, right? Because we already have the other ones they can select from. But for the category, I'll put like uh, outdoors. So we'll create a new category for outdoors. Product tags, lamp, orange, red, and yellow. All right. Now there's one last thing I do want to mention for the default form values, you guys do need to select a default. So for example, what is the first product value that they're gonna see when they click on the product? A medium red, a medium yellow. Well, I'll just put medium red because I want it to match the current product image. And I think we're all ready to rock and roll guys. Let's go ahead now and click on publish. And now let's view the product. And look at that, we now have a beautiful outdoor lamp. You'll see the price goes from 100 to 150. We have these beautiful key features, a lot of description. And here we can adjust the size, right? So small yellow, right? There we go, small yellow, small orange, and small red or medium red, right? So you guys are gonna see it works together and it all collaborates perfectly. So that's how you guys can create a variable product. If you guys do have any questions or you guys want to learn how to make this e-commerce website, I'll leave this tutorial in the description below of this video. But that said, thanks for watching and good luck on your e-commerce websites. All right, party people, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys do wanna learn how to make that amazing e-commerce website, we have that tutorial in the description below this video if you guys do wanna go ahead and check it out. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.